Welcome back to another edition of JGB. JGB here to flood your timeline. You already know the deal. It's your boy, Aaron. And I'm back at it again with another Heavy Rain gameplay. I just want to thank all the love and support that you guys have given us. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as I enjoy making it. And uh, in the last video, as you know, uh, we became a detective, private detective, FBI, and I lost Sean. So, I lost another child. Nothing new. But, you know what I'm saying? Let's find out what happened to him. Hopefully, he's not dead. You know I mean? And without further ado, let's get it, let's get it. Okay, so I'm, I'm the private detective again. I mean, not private detective, uh, the FBI agent again. He's, he's, if I remember correctly, he's specifically looking, uh, looking into the origami, origami. How do they, how do they say it in this? Origami? Or, origami. Or, origami. Origami. Killer. Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. Why? Why would I put this on? There's no need for this. this one? Oh wow, it can play it play video games too. Oh wow, that's cool. What do I do? That's tight. I wanna try the uh tank. Oh, I don't get to choose. He chose, didn't he? Can I try the tank or no? No, no, no. Oh. I have. Apparently, I have to do the baseball. I still lit, though. I wonder if I can hit the window behind me. Nah, he always comes up to the same spot. That was cool, though. I wish I was in real life. I would, I'd, take, I'd have that in real life. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we will. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better oh, time. No, no, it's fine. We just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy time to get into Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. Uh -huh. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you've got him. You know how to tie him out on the next I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. Oh, what messed up? This guy is a exotic the flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. And the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, none of my business. Oh my god! Oh. Of course not. 
All I'm asking is that you make progress. And fast. I don't want to sign that in real life. And we're going to have to serve him up on a silver platter. Perfect, right? Not bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, go see Charlene. She'll show you to your office. But check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Charlene. Is that who I was just talking to? As you get Perry's assistance, show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. Excuse me. Oh, I should have asked him. Nice work. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We've got the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. Let's do it today, too. Yeah. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. Yeah. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Oh, cool. Kind of small. Cluster. This, this is my office? It looks like a jail cell. I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. No time to lose. Gotta get down to work. First, analyze the case files. Okay. I guess it, it gives you more room. Step one. Change the Let's see. What is that? I'm assuming summer, because that's fall. This would be winter, I guess. Oh, okay. Basically, like, where am I going? Let's check Fallout. These glasses can do anything. I'll check the other ones out. That's why I look like Mars.
Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later, drowned in rainwater. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. I wonder if this is a. I need to take some. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Five thirty, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. A brown coat. And a pair of pants. Beige pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? 
I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say... but it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? I'm sorry. It's not what I meant to say. I miss him so much. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. I have four days before we find his body on the deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Real Dang. Oh, you saw inhalers. I'm all out, at least I won't go away completely at the moment. Back of the store, to the right. Thanks. I'm not good with this whole investigation. Oh, oh. why is there chips on the floor? Right, it's right here, right? I'm terrible with this whole investigation thing. Good evening, sir. Oh, he's gonna try to rob the store. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. Do not have the right to steal I'm moving money. very slow. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. 
What did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now. You shall not be robbing my register, sir. No, oh, come on, get out. Mine. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. Hey, you! Oh, I got shot. Come here! I said, come here now! Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! It's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice! Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah. A little girl. I got a little girl. Her name's Jessica. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself, what would happen to her if things go wrong? You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? You haven't done anything serious yet. If you put the gun away, we'll forget about what just happened, and that will be the end of it. Just walk away. Nothing serious. Shit, man! What the fuck do you think I'm doing here? Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. I'm two for two with these quick time events. Oh, then thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. Oh. This I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my That's boy, twice. Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Mm. Can I? I'm getting lucky with these these robbers and threatening people coming in, threatening every person that I come investigate. Like, what happens if I walk in one time and nobody threatens these people? It can't be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mr. Shelby, I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. that's it for this video I want to thank you all thank you for the love and support you guys give us thank you so much man uh, I'm really getting these quick time events down like I don't know if y'all know you know what I'm saying I'm killing the game like the Detroit Detroit becoming human was easy this this whole uh, heavy rain thing I'm killing the game uh, sto like I said story starting off kind of slow you know what I'm saying but you can tell we getting into it uh, my ex-wife Loki tried to press me on this Sean thing but I can't be mad at my half lost two kids I'm going to get these kids back, though. So, uh, I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell. Till next time. Peace.